Since 2007, the local church hosted LGBT rights human trafficking for counseling for a minimum wage job as Satan worshipers to continue to be managers and become slave trade brand managers through human trafficking and torture. They did counseling from people's parents' houses. They were homeless, made homeless by their parents and ran out of money and became human trafficking victims for Botox, botched shows, slave trade reality shows. It's preventable if people believe in paying the bare minimum besides the mortgage, the 2,500 a cleaning lady would get. They were live-in human trafficking victims for free rent with the investors who do the 20 per hour promos with investors for Playboy, who party promote and prostitute, but it's slave trade. Slave trade, free rent as live-in assistants and they were human trafficking victims. So instead they would live with their families, but the top percentage would be paid according to federal law. And it's the million a year as a referral for 10 million for 20 year ones out of LA and New York and other ones earned the seven year rates of 3 million, the five year rates of 2 million from 2001 to 2007 through Ford. It was Ford as a referral for LA and New York models. Click, click New York, Elite and Wilhelmina. These are the supermodels who are full-time models for print, commercials, and theatrical. They didn't party promote with Victoria's Secret models, and they're the most successful. The Victoria's Secret models, Alessandra and Adriana Lima, would own this agency with Leo and Giselle and Dutton. They would have these supermodels paid according to federal law since 2001. They're the only true supermodels that first seven years and they booked commercials and theatrical. They're the referral for actor models when there was no commercial print for food companies. So it's instead of Playboy Playmate ambassadors who have a brand and they would be paid according to federal law. There are only a few in the world who are 20 year LA and New York based, full time, most successful bi-coastal international supermodels who are the highest earned supermodel talent for commercials and theatricals of direct booking. Those ones earned the million a year for print, commercials, and theatrical. Each year, Victoria's Secret models were recruited because they sold out for slave trade and they partied at Cannes with soap stars who got the million a year and Cannes award-winning producers who are cannibal satanic managers as horror film directors for a brothel for minimum wage. This is separate from that agency. This is the true top percentage who earn the million a year for every division, and they're the referral for ones who earn the 10 million out of LA and New York as 20 year full time supermodel talent and producers who truly stuck to an agency rate, who are less successful than them. They're the referral for the last 14 year ones who can get 750, just like 20 year ones out of LA and New York who are full-time supermodels, talent, and producers who party promoted or prostituted and slept with club owners and clients with party promoting reels since 2007, such as the cover of Fitness, such as CSI, such as the cover of Vogue. They're replaced by brand owners since 2007 and anything that would promote them. All major mall advertising and boutiques ran by slave trade brands their age. They don't work for them and they're not a slave trade brand employee with them for all major advertising campaigns. They're the only ones who direct book jobs based off the resume for the same companies with an agency rate being SAG, all 20s, all 30s. They're millennials as a referral for Generation X. It's the millennial group who truly earned the 100 million, the 20 million through Britney with four movies to get the other 20 million to get the 100 million. And Britney earns the 150 million 75. She's the referral for ones who earn 10 million as Generation X, 20 year full time supermodels, talent, and producers out of LA and New York. Other states and countries can get the 750 as 20 year ones who did not party promote or prostitute. All over the world, 
party promoters were recruited from their parents' house by the models who became party promoters 2007, and they have party promoting reels. They'd have to delete them. They're party promoting commercials for a non-union rate. It's been a runway rate since 2007. Any models scouted who are their age who went to college and worked minimum wage for that first seven year period, or any high schooler 2007 who was scouted, went about three times a week. They could get exploited by LGBT rights every day, but they truly did when they're the theatrical supermodel talent who are the most successful that first seven years, and they went every single day. Some people would only get requested a couple times a year. So they're the referral for full-time small business owners who went three days a week and got exploited by LGBT rights. But they're SAG like the actors, like the celebrities, and they actually booked the billboards, the major advertising campaigns in the mall, the magazine Sam Magazine, separate from party promoting prostitution or slave trade. And those are the only ones who truly did it in this lifetime, the first seven-year ones. They're the referral for small business owners, 2007 till now.